and welcome back to the channel. Well, I finally decided to chime in on this particular topic here because there is a lot of information uh, that is flooding the airways concerning what is happening over there in Ukraine uh, with Russia, uh, with the refugees, with the people that are fleeing, trying to get out of there. Lots of information is coming at us and I wanted to highlight something that a lot of focus is not given to. Okay, so there is a lot of discrimination happening right now as we speak. Uh, you have African refugees trying to get out and get to safety just like everybody else. So we're hearing about, you know, the helicopters that are being knocked down, uh, the, the Russian helicopters that um, are being knocked down by Ukrainians and how Ukrainians are just uh, such brave people and they're getting all this help from all over the place. Um, there's the talk about wanting to save. Uh, it puts a whole different, one guy actually said it puts a whole different spin on things when you see that those who are suffering um, are white with blonde hair and blue eyes. So he's basically saying, look, I care because they look like me, right? So what some of these Africans are experiencing, um, there are issues where uh, African refugees are being uh, mistreated by other people. They were talking about how the Polish um, have responded to uh, some of these uh, Africans trying to flee. It says people of color fleeing Ukraine are being attacked by Polish nationalists. Okay, uh, that's not the other, the only story that we're hearing like this. We are hearing uh, that Africans are being um, denied the the right to get on trains or buses or any type of transportation out of there because uh, they are allowing Ukrainians or white people to escape first. I know these are very, un um, very uncomfortable topics, but this is the stuff that's happening in the world, right? Uh, these things have happened for a very long time, but people think that it's racist to talk about these things. I mean, this is what's happening, and this is happening right now today. Uh, but what we're hearing now is that Vladimir Putin is actually helping Africans while others are refusing to help them. So what are we supposed to think about that? Is this man actually helping Africans while others are refusing to help them? They won't let you out, or if you try to get out, uh, you're being attacked by Polish nationalists? Oh, okay, tell me, who are the ones who are being wrong in this, in this case? Who's being wrong here? Explain to me why the Africans aren't being helped, but all the white people are. Can someone make that make sense for me? And for those of you who say, well, they're helping women and children. Okay, well, let me explain this to you. There was um, an incident that was highlighted to where there was an African woman with her two-week-old baby who was trying to get out as well, but they wouldn't let her on either. So this has nothing to do with trying to help women and children because if that were the case, then that African woman with her newborn, fresh out of the womb baby would have been allowed to es escape as well. And so it amazes me how things are being reported. I don't know what's going on. I'm not over there, but I do know what is being reported. You have Africans who are saying that Vladimir Putin is helping us. But you have other reports of Africans saying that they're being attacked, they're being hurt. And then you can see actual footage of them being turned away while others are being allowed to go through to safety. So are we supposed to just ignore that because people think we shouldn't focus on that? Those who believe we shouldn't focus on that are those who, like the one reporter said, he cares and it bothers him. It hurts him to see this happening to people with white skin, blue eyes, and blonde hair. Let's just call it what it is. There is a mindset that exists in this world that has existed for a very long time that people want us to ignore. They want to pretend like it doesn't exist or that we are just making a mountain out of a molehill when this stuff is in your face constantly. Now, let me just bring it into perspective. I'm not complaining about it. You know why? Because it was prophesied. How can you complain about something that was foretold? The complaining won't change a thing. What does change things is when you recognize that we are living in a very spiritual realm here where things that were prophesied 
a long time ago are happening right before our eyes. And so this should help you to be able to identify what the Bible talks about when it makes a separation between certain things. When the Bible tells you that a certain group of people will be hated of all nations, it makes more sense when you actually know who that group of people are versus what you've been told versus the lies that have been put out there into the atmosphere, into the world to flood the world with misinformation about who is who in the Bible. But when you begin to line events and things up and actions and deeds and um, stuff that is unfolding, when you begin to line that up with the Bible, then you can identify who is who by what is happening mm, mm, mm. and to whom it's happening. So again, is Vladimir, is Vladimir Putin helping Africans while others are refusing to? First of all, thank you to the brother who shared the story with me. I appreciate that so very much. I appreciate it so very much and very specifically um, just to point it out it says um, Putin was given Tanzanian students a place to stay and clothes to change thank you to brother Yehuda for sharing that with me because it is very important that these things are talked about and that they are highlighted because there is this push to gloss over things to make, make it seem like, uh, oh, you're just feeding too much into something or it's not as bad as you think it is or not as bad as it seems or not as bad as you say. Regardless to what is actually sometimes being caught on camera, people still want to pretend like it's not as bad as what reality has shown us. So anyway, I wanted to share this um, and, you know, there, there's definitely something going on out here. The, the way this, this whole thing is being reported is very curious to me. It's very, very strange, very strange the way this whole Ukraine-Russia thing is being reported. Very strange. Mm, mm, mm. Well, if you look at Western media, they always put their spin on things. They, they report things the way they, that you, they want you to believe it. Remember a long time ago, um, I shared where they used to report things um, up north um, in the northern states. Uh, they would make, make a statement, something like, um, uh, there is um, a young white child and um, the, his mother who was uh, attacked by someone of color so that they can enrage the people in the north when it was all lies they were just doing this to just get the public riled up about something that never happened and then of course the movie wag the dog oh my goodness if you haven't seen that take a look at it the way western media reports things they report things in a way to get a reaction that they are trying to get it is what it is, y'all. The truth is what it is. Okay, I'm done with the story in the comments section below. Remember to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also, comment, share, like, and subscribe.